I get a lot of questions on YouTube and one of the most common is how can I cure my diabetes and high blood pressure at the same time? This is just a bad situation. There are two things that I would do and here we go. Number one, you have to understand that your body, your pancreas and your cardiovascular system are not handling the food that you're eating very well. Every time you open your mouth and you stick a fork in it, whatever's on that fork, your body is not handling well. So you need to stop eating. If I were in these shoes, I would stop eating. And what I would do is I would only eat once a day. I would not eat breakfast and I would not eat dinner. I would eat in the middle part of the day and I would have, this is gonna sound strange, but I would have a ribeye steak, whether it's eight ounces, 12 ounces, 15 ounces, I would eat only once a day. I would drink nothing throughout the day except water, and that would be my only meal. Why am I doing this? The reason why is because any carbohydrate that you're putting into your body, your pancreas is not handling it. It's not able to metabolize the carbohydrate well, and so, most people think of carbohydrates as cookies and cakes and donuts. Vegetables are carbohydrates. Fruit is a carbohydrate. So that means that anything other than a chicken breast, eggs, steak, fish, anything other than that, it's a carbohydrate and you need to stop eating it. You need to give your body and your pancreas a rest from trying to handle these. The organ is already so damaged that now you are suffering. So you need to give the organ a rest. Once a day, you eat a ribeye steak and that's it. The reason you're eating the ribeye steak is because it's full of fat and it's full of protein and at least it's gonna make you feel full enough that that's all you can do. How long you're gonna have to do that for, it's totally dependent on how bad your condition is. So I would change my diet. Number two, I would start exercising by doing walking. I would leave my house every single day and I would put on some shoes and walk two minutes that way. And then when I turn around after two minutes, I would come back and try to see if I can get home faster than I previously got there. So in other words, you try to go a little bit faster on the second loop. It's not important that you do two to four minutes of exercise. What you're trying to do is create the habit of exercise. You're gonna do it seven days a week and it doesn't matter what your excuses are, you need to get out of the house and start exercising. So if I was in these shoes, I would actually try to walk every single day. Now, after a period of time, and I'm just assuming that that would be a challenge for, for me, once you actually find that it's kind of easy to walk four minutes, I would try to find more time and maybe do three minutes that way and three minutes back. And then as I got in better shape, I would do four minutes and then five minutes, trying to build up to, in theory, an hour a day. Now I realize that's asking a lot, but if you have a serious medical condition like high blood pressure and diabetes, then serious medical conditions require serious efforts to get better. So I would attempt to build up to walking one hour a day. Now, realistically, if there's one day where you can only do 20 minutes and the next day you can do an hour, that's fine. It's not how long you go for, it's really that you do it consistently, seven days a week, not six, not five, not when you want. Hopefully, you're still with me. Hopefully, you haven't written a bad comment yet down below. I'm sure someone will, but this is how you get rid of diabetes and high blood pressure naturally. You can probably understand now why it's so uncomfortable for a doctor to suggest this because most people are not gonna wanna hear this information. Now, let's assume you do that and six months to a year later, you are starting to really be in shape and you are really doing well. What do you do then? 
What I would do was I would start reintroducing carbohydrates into my body. I would start with vegetables and I would pick the vegetables that you like, whether you like green beans or peas or you like spinach or you like broccoli, whatever it is, I would start introducing carbohydrates slowly into my body because normally what you want to gain is the ability to eat food and have your body metabolize it well. And it takes training to do that. And that's exactly what the diet and the exercise would do for you. So, hey, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you disagree with me, tell me why. Give me a thumbs down. Tell me why I'm wrong. And let's see if you can actually get healthy. And once you are, then the real issue is now you may not need those medications. So ask your doctor then at that point, can you be off the medications? You might be surprised and the doctor might be surprised too.